Welcome back to Somerset. I'm not quite sure if this is a different episode yet or if I'm just going to join it with the last extremely short one. So if it is a new episode, hello and welcome. I'm back in the Ebon Sanctum trying to help this lady through. We made it through the crazy maze. Oh, and it appears we have a boss ahead of us. But I had some crazy thunderstorms going on. That's why I had to kind of just randomly stop recording last time. Because they were, it was just a little too much for me. Hello. You need help down here. I thought you were upstairs. Where are you? My goodness. Oh. Hello. Uh. Fletch. Oh my goodness. What are, what is somebody from, what are they doing here? Thank the stars. I think he's coming too. Hello? Am I in Aetherius? You don't look like my ancestors. Are you gods? Don't worry, you're alive. Can I ask your name? We of the House of Reveries have no names, only masks. But you can call me Fletch, because I specialize in the art of the bow, see? Oh, my aching head. How did I end up here? I don't remember a thing. Do you remember coming to the Ebon Stanmont? Ebon Stanmont? I'm sorry, but I, I just don't remember. I must have come here with my traveling troop, though. I wouldn't have left Relenthiel without them. Someone must have ambushed me. A ferocious someone, given my state. Perhaps it was the Daedra I just defeated? Daedra? Mara's elbow, that doesn't sound good. No. Could you help me find my troop leader, Maestro Forte? I need to warn him. He should be somewhere nearby, I think. All right, let's go. My goodness, how did you end up here? Oh, my. Okay, let's see if we can help you out. Forte, is that you? Fletch, what's happened? The whole troop is looking for you. Grand Maestro Forte? Why, I had no idea you were an Ebon Stadmont. Grand? Oh no, I'm simply Maestro Forte. Hardly worthy of the title Grand yet. Oh, hello? It appears you've saved Fletch from the brink of death. It brings to mind the story of Tamarian, who of course was saved by the Nereids of... Ah, but now is not the time for such tales. Tell me... What has happened? Anduin saved his life. He can't remember anything, but there are Daedra nearby. Daedra? Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Our watch did report some strange creatures prowling about at night, but I've heard of no other attacks. Something must be attracting them here. Did you just come from the temple? Yeah, that's where we found Fletch. The only thing of note I discovered within the temple is a glowing stone in its main chamber. I've yet to translate the stone's inscription, but it may be attracting Daedra to it. Mm -hmm. I found a similar stone nearby. Can you help me investigate? I can do that for you. Excellent. Why don't you and your companion head to the stone? Just follow the path north. Okay. I'll escort Fletch to our camp and make sure he's seen to. We'll meet back here afterward and share our findings. We'll take care of it. All right. I guess we're off to the stone. Are we done with the crazy forest that moves around yet? Do we, like, have... I know this is strange, but let's get to this stone. Perhaps it can answer some questions. Yeah, this is strange. There's no doubt about that. The House of Reveries in Ebon Stadmont? Why wouldn't I have heard about that? Yeah, that is a little bit strange. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not quite sure why they're here. But we'll just fight our way to the stone, I guess, and then maybe we'll get to figure it out, hopefully. Okay. Uh, last stone, last inscription. Well, I don't know if it'll be the last, but it's another one. Lenka, fall away. Future's door. Did you hear it too? That woman's voice. At first, I thought I was imagining it. Definitely not imagining it. Future's door. 
strat. Well, I've realized where we are. Uh, okay. A house of reveries expedition I've never heard of. Grand Maestro Forte rebuffing his proper title. And the temple room where we found Fletch? It looked the same as the room we first entered, but there wasn't a cobweb or broken pew in sight. That does seem all strange, but what does it mean? It means we ventured somewhere we never should have gone. The past. Oh my gosh. I know it seems far-fetched, but remember that stone we first activated? I thought the inscription referenced an event, but the past was a destination, not an occurrence. The stone in the temple sent us to the past? That's my theory, and I'd rather not explore further to find out. Affecting the past has far-reaching consequences. It makes me wonder what trouble we've already caused. Yeah? But this stone's inscription indicates it should send us back to the present. How can you be sure? I can't be sure, in all honesty. But we have to try. Otherwise, we'll be stuck in the past. All right, I'll use this stone to go back to the present. This stone should lead us back to our natural time. All you need to do is keep that destination clearly in your mind. I'll follow right behind you. Do you know about mm, Buddy's expedition? It is quite intriguing. Grand Maestro Forte is the head of Somerset's greatest acting troupe, mm -hmm. the House of Reveries. But I've also heard tale that he's a great academic as well, though perhaps I'm more familiar with his work than I thought. What do you mean? The research I've been using to help translate the language here came from an expedition that occurred around this time. Perhaps Maestro Forte wrote the very notes that led me here. I'll ask him, but I'd rather not affect the past more than we have. Do you think we've already changed the past? Well, Fletch was very close to death, and I recall seeing bones in our present time, right where I found him injured. Most likely he was supposed to die. Uh, I'm almost glad I was so ignorant when I healed him. I don't know what I would have done. What do you mean? As I said earlier, changing the past has far-reaching consequences. For all I know, healing Fletch could have dire consequences to our present. I would have had to weigh his life against the potential impact of that change. Quite a somber thought. I see. Do you know why I hear a woman's voice when... Reading these inscriptions? I've been hearing this voice since I first started translating these inscriptions. It must be some sort of magic connected to the inscriptions. Perhaps connected to the language itself, come to think of it. Isn't this language ancient and not very well known? Oh, it is rather odd for a mysterious language to speak to anyone who reads it. Mm -hmm. The misdirecting nature of Eben Stadmont must have kept researchers from studying these inscriptions, that's all. Not to mention the local wildlife. It just seems rather convenient, a voice telling us where to go. I'm not sure what to tell you. I do know that we have to return to our time, and quickly. This mysterious voice, whatever its motivation, is the only thing helping us do that. We have little choice but to follow it now. That's... that's pretty true! All right, let's go back to the present, I hope. Who's there? I saw it's, it's you. Why do you sound old? Years and years, and I never could find you. And here you are, back where it all began. Looking as if you haven't aged a day, my friend. What happened to you? I just came through the door to get back to our original time. So the stone did send you to the future, after all. I had feared the worst. That day I tried to follow after you and return to our original time. But the stone's magic faded, and the doorway closed. Try as I might, I couldn't get it open. What did you do? I was trapped within Eben Stadmont. For decades, I'd been studying this language and desperately searching for a way out. But my path would always lead me back here. But I did it. I finally found a way to go back. To stop this all from happening. What do you mean? I must stop myself from ever going back in time. <gasps> Fletch! I've been wasting my life within this cursed forest. The Southern Stone. That's the key to... Wait, what's that? Is that Fletch? Where? Whoa! Fletch. Ah. I'm 
sorry, dear, but your role has been cut. The temple. You must go back. What just happened? Go through the temple. The southern stone. They in a way tender. Those are the words. Stop this from happening. Take my diary. It will prove everything. Why did Fletch just murder her? What is going on? I'm so confused. Fletch! I see him! We have to stop him! Why her hunger is so tough to kill? Nothing else is this hard to kill, you know. Okay, we're just gonna go past that. Keep running, keep running. I'm following Fletch. Why did you murder her? It's time for the grand finale of our little production. I I'm so confused. I was hoping there would be more voiceover so I could understand why he did that. And thus the play continues. I'll see you soon. Oh, what? Which version am I in? The non-broken bench version. I, am I still in the past? No, I don't know. Okay, um, I need to go to a south stone. At this point, I'm just like following quest markers, hoping that it leads me to the right place because I have no idea where I'm going. This is so creepy. And what is Fletch doing? Wait, did she give me her diary already? Can I read it? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so that spirit doesn't understand the language either and wants to use it. So she wanted to keep the other person there. Such an effort to escape me. I suppose I have what I need. What? Fletch? Well, I suppose it's curtain call. You finally figured it out. Well, and Derwin figured it out, didn't she? But hey, you put all the legwork in. And here you are, just in time to stop our leading lady from ever performing her starring role. Curtain call? Wait, I just killed you after you killed her. Ah, but did you kill me? Truly? Not even an accomplished healer could bring me back. And yes, I did take part in Andewan's final scene. Or rather, I will. All a matter of perspective, you see. But she shouldn't have tried to cut the act short. The act? Andewan was the leading lady of our production. It was up to her to uncover the mysteries of Eben Stadmont to find the true potential of its hidden power. But she found a way to escape, and in her last breath told you the way back to the start. Back to the start? Does that mean I'm in the present? Sadly, yes. And so my part must end as well. I put on quite the performance though, don't you think? The poor, confused soul, the dastardly villain, the mysterious saint. But I, I think you have a task to do, don't you? A dying wish to fulfill? I need to stop her from going to the past. Yes, our heroine should be just outside, if I remember correctly. After so many times around, though, I tend to lose track. Well, no need to get into all of that. Wait, I still have questions. Who are you? I told you the very first time we met. I'm Fletch. I used to be a mere actor, but now I serve a greater force. I've served her for quite a while now, helping to find the true power of Eben Stadmont. With Andewan's help, of course. You serve a greater force? What do you mean? What did Andewan call her? Ah, the Spirit of the Sanctum. An appropriate title as any. She rules over this forest. I think she always has, though I'm not quite sure. She needed the power here, you see. 
Eben Stadmont was integral to her plans. Her plans? Don't bother asking me. Mostly because I have no idea. I would have died had the spirit not saved me. And it wasn't too bad. A supporting role at best. I'd make sure the loop continued, make sure Andewan kept researching again and again. Continued the loop? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I barely understand and I've lived through it. And it's done now in any case. You made sure of that. But I think the spirit learned enough. It will have to do. What did the spirit learn enough about? The language here, of course. You see, it's all rather tricky. Only mortals are able to use the language. That's what allowed you to travel through time after all. And Andewan was the perfect candidate to uncover its secrets. So Andewan was trapped in Eben Stanmont to study the language? Yes. All our heroine needed was the proper motivation. Andewan was trapped within the forest, unable to get out. Then she would hear a whisper. Guiding, always guiding. And as Andewan used the language, my mistress would be watching. You are super freaky, buddy. I'm just throwing that out there that you are super freaky. Alright, I just have a couple wardrobes and desks to search because always on the lookout for Eleanor plans. Oh, come on. One more. One more wardrobe and then we can leave. Okay, so if I stop her, is it too late? I'm so confused. Yeah, kids don't mess with time. Time is not good. Oh my goodness, it's Endon one. There you are. We finally made it to the temple. Oh, I just can't wait to see what secrets are inside. No, the temple is a trap. We need to leave this forest now. The temple is a trap? What do you mean? Here, this book should fill you in. A book? Why, this is my handwriting. I've been trapped within this forest for decades now. Trapped within the past. My face is filled with wrinkles. My heart darkened with regrets. My life was stolen from me. Something led you to this temple, all in an attempt to trap you here. Something trying to, my goodness. This is all so hard to wrap my head around. Oh, I know, but the book should fill you in on the details, but we need to leave. Yes, I agree. You've gone above and beyond protecting me during this expedition. Though the details seem a bit complicated, to think I would have been trapped here, I'd say our contract is concluded. Thank you for all you've done. You're welcome. I suppose I did succeed in this expedition. The notes you've given me are written by my hand after all. Though, of course, that me won't exist now since you've stopped me and... And I'm going to stop now. I, before my head hurts. I only know you were trapped here. I'm sure these notes will give me more details. The best thing to do now is share our findings with the Mages Guild. Let them know how dangerous this forest truly is. Are you As for me, I'll join back up with Tellinger. Are you upset to be going back to Tellinger? You know... It may be silly, but I suppose I came here to step out of his shadow. Yeah? If I could be the one to crack Eben Stadmont, well, perhaps that would be enough. And then I was trapped in the past to serve a mysterious being. Oh, I would have been. I could see where that would put you off. Tellinger is the one who makes brash decisions and puts us all in danger. And I'm the one who helps fix it. <laughs> Yet as soon as I lead, I find myself in the same position as him. For now, I'd rather clean up his messes rather than make my own. Well, I guess that's fair. Um, so is this place actually going to be simple to get out of? Or are we kind of like SOL and it's going to be very terrible to find our way out? Is this the... Well, it is a lovely view, once you put aside all the strangeness. Did you just... Don't go inside. Don't go inside. Can I get out yet, please? Oh my goodness, I think I'm still trapped. I'm trapped in the winding forest. That is ridiculous. Um, please let me out. Please let me out. Oh my goodness, I'm out. This is fantastic. Woo. 
Woohoo! Yay! All right, I probably don't need a Khajiit signpost, and they can all see me. So I'm just not going to bother with that backpack. Thank you guys for joining me, though. That was a ton of fun. And next time, I think we'll carry on with the main quest, unless, of course, we trip over any others on our way over there. Bye for now.